Hi, this screencast is going to walk through attaching web forms to notes. My name is Jacob Rockwitz. I'm known as Jay Rockwitz on the web. I'm a Drupal developer and software architect. I built and maintain the web form module for Drupal. What are web form nodes? Web form nodes are nodes with a web form field, which is an entity reference attached to it. So the web form node module, which you have to enable, provides a web form content type, but a web form can be attached to any content type you want. Just add the field. And once that's done, you can start tracking node-specific submissions. So the idea is you, you enable this relationship and you get a test tab, which you can test your web form, and a results tab, which you're seeing the results for that specific node. Um, we'll get into that a little bit more. I mean, the key thing to walk away with is like the idea is you create a registration form and you want to reuse it on all your events on the site. So you create an event content type, you add a web form to it, and every web form you add will just track specific registrations for that event. And, and we'll walk through it a little bit more. But So the other detail is when you enable the web form node module, a references tab gets added to all your web forms. And it makes it easy to track all the instances of your web form nodes so you know what's going on. So. The web form field can be used any content type, including paragraphs. It's just a field, you turn it on, pretty easy to configure. And just some tips and tricks for web form fields and nodes. Tokens are really important when you're starting to deal with relationships. The idea here in the token I'm showing is that you have a submission that's coming in from a node and you can grab field data off that node. And this token can be used in the example where in each one of your web form nodes, you want to have a different confirmation message. You can do that. You add a field called field confirmation message, and then you can pass this information into the confirmation message. Another way to do it is, going back to the event registration, if you need to pull the dates off the event, you can use tokens to pass that date, those dates into your web form. And that kind of the second part here is you can use computed elements, which are usually driven by tokens to display these, the web form node values, the field values that are, are there. Um, yes, web form tokens are very flexible. So I'm going to do a very simple demo. To clean install, we have the contact form. I like to just show you that, yes, this is the basic contact form. It's not a node yet. I'm going to do a test submission, so we're going to do one record. Hit send. Click back. So we're here, and we can go over to the results tab. We have our one record. You note that it's not tracking submitted to where it's coming from. I'm going to go over to References, and this is the tab that's added by the Web Form Node module. There's no instances, but I'm going to go add a new Web Form Node. It automatically figures out, because I'm passing the Web Form ID, gives you the default title, which is copied from the Web Form. It sets up the relationship, and you get the ability to tweak little settings about the Web Form. Specifically now, you can set the status, whether it's open or closed, or you can even schedule when it's open on this node. And you can pass default data into your web form to pre-populate certain values. I'm going to hit save. And now we're still on the node and we get these this test tab and the results tab. So I'm going to use the test tab. I'm going to submit a test. Click back. And then I'm going to go to the results tab. And the big thing you're going to notice is there's only one record here. It's only tracking the submission for this node. Even though I submitted it somewhere else, I'm only getting the records for this node, and you can download and export them and even customize this table for just this node. Um, that's pretty much the demo. Um, takeaway is web form nodes are just very useful and flexible. Um, some exercises with web form nodes is, you know, create a web form node from a contact form like I did. Pass the default value to a web form node. And you also experiment with passing the web form node's title using tokens to it, you know, a hidden value or input. Just get familiar with how tokens are working. Um, you can learn more about me at jrockwoods.com. Have fun playing with the web form module and take care.